Regional property prices are falling. Let's have a look. Hello everyone, Florian here and welcome to another episode of Heiser Says. Let's have a look at this article here from Yahoo Finance. Regional property prices dip seven areas that are bucking the trend. So remember, when everyone was leaving the city and looking for a green change, moving out to the country, working remote, I'm certain there's some advantages to living remote, but I don't know. I've, I've had friends who've done it and really loved it, but ended up back in, well, let's just say a more metropolitan, more developed area for services and amenities. You know, there's advantages and disadvantages no matter where you live. Property prices are dropping across most of Australia's regional areas as markets continue to reel from high interest rates and a shift in migration patterns back to pre-COVID levels. CoreLogic's latest regional market update, which looks at Australia's 25 largest non-capital regions, found 18 areas recorded an annual drop in house values over the year to July 2023. The biggest dip was seen in Richmond Tweed, down 20.4%, which includes Byron, Ballina and Tweed Heads, and the Southern Highlands and Shoalhaven at negative 15%, although the annual place of decline eased. CoreLogic Australia Head of Research Eliza Owen said, despite regional housing values rising for the past five months, prices remain 5.6% below this time last year, and sales volumes were down 21.3%. While the market is starting to recover, value growth is largely being led by capital city markets, reflecting milder housing demand across regional Australia as demographic patterns normalise, Owen said. Year-on-year growth was hard to find across regional Australia in the past 12 months. The markets that saw an increase were largely more affordable and were more rural. Assumably, lower value assets have been more resilient to increases in interest costs because they require lower indebtedness. Some more rural regional parts of the country may also have sustained housing demand due to targeted migration programs, Owen said. South, the regional growth spots, southeast regions of South Australia, which include tourism hotspots Kangaroo Island, uh, Fleurier Peninsula and Limestone Coast, continue to lead the charge with house values growing at 9.1%. The biggest winner was Queensland with Central Queensland, 2.7%. Mackay with Sundays, 1.2%. 1.2 to 1.7. Are the, how, how, these, these are tiny. <laughs> Can 0.5. These are, these are the big winners. These are the big winners, guys. All recorded growth. Rounding out the list was Bunbury in WA at 3.7. New England and Northwest in New South Wales at 1.6. So there we go, guys. Let's have a chat about this one. I honestly think the green tinge is uh, disappearing. People are moving back to the regions. Looks like someone's arriving and I've got to go. I'll see you next time, guys. Check, wait, nope, nope. Check out Heiser Bim or Heiser Does. If you want to support us, you can using all the usual methods, YouTube or Patreon, referral links, pocket squares, or calling us if you need an architect. Take care. I'll see you next time.